When it's a cat item of stationery without being childish, chef's kiss. Hi, I'm Erin, your friendly neighborhood bullet journal and stationery person. And you know how you see people on YouTube doing these massive hauls, myself included, I sometimes do big stationery haul video type stuff. I would like to introduce the concept today of a tiny haul where you just get one or two things and it's still exciting and maybe you still want to share. So I've just got two items to share with you today from Notebook Therapy. I have a review of Notebook Therapy's Suki bullet journals up on my channel already that I did about a year ago. You can watch it up here if you'd like to. At the time I made that, I was like tiny little, I'm still a tiny little YouTuber, but I was an even tinier little YouTuber then. And Senpai since then has noticed me and I am now a Notebook Therapy affiliate. So I do want to mention that these couple of items I'm going to show you are fairly new releases from Notebook Therapy. They were gifted to me by the brand. I really like Notebook Therapy and I have bought four of their journals myself in the past and some stickers and stuff from them as well and I've recommended my friends to them. And now I can recommend them to you with the added bonus of a discount code. So if you are interested in these or any other items from Notebook Therapy and you'd like to get 10% off you could use my code Erin at checkout and that's an affiliate code as well so I will also make a little bit of money and you'll be supporting me too. So the lovely folks at Notebook Therapy reached out to me and they sent me some pictures of some stuff that was coming soon and were like what would you like and I was like cats <laughs> always cats. So I'm starting off with a journal here this is an A5 size Suki bullet journal and they sent me a photo of this notebook and I was like uh-huh. So this is an A5 linen covered notebook and it's called Neko Neko because it's got a kitty on it. <laughs> so cute. Mitsu, come here. I'm making a video about a cat journal and I just need to know what you think of it, okay? Will you smell this for me? Will you approve? What do you think? No? Okay. <laughs> Bye. So I've opted for the A5 size because that's what I prefer currently in a bullet journal. You can also get it in the original size, which is the slightly smaller, which both of my bullet journals from last year were the original size notebook therapy journals. And they also have it in a B5. The A5 and the B5 both have 176 pages. The original has 128. So at the moment, things could change. I change my mind on this kind of stuff a lot, but I'm thinking this will probably be 2023 part two this journal because I have my first notebook already picked for next year, but this might be the second one, I think. Have to point out some gorgeous details. So it's this beautiful salmon pink kind of color. Salmon pink doesn't sound the most attractive, although it does describe it well. It's definitely not like a, a baby pink. There's a little bit more red than blue in this pink, if that makes sense. Gold embossing. Mine actually has arrived a bit dirty. That's actually never happened to me before, but it looks like it's just dust. I'm gonna just see if I can get that off. It's only on the back, which it was gonna get dirty on my desk eventually anyway. Oh yeah, that's actually, so I'm just putting some clear sticky tape down and peeling it up like a lint roller. A lint roller would probably also work really well, but I don't have one currently. And that's, oh yeah, that's, that's cleaning it up beautifully. Okay, so that was nothing to be mad about. The little kitty on the front looks like it's sitting in a basket. It's got some little flowers around. It kind of looks like it's a little cameo necklace kind of style looking thing, which is really sweet. And there's also a kitty face and some flowers on the spine and another little kitty face on the back with the notebook therapy embossing. When you open the inside cover, it's got Tsuki Neko Neko Edition Bullet Journal by Notebook Therapy and the little kitty motif again, and a spot to put your name. I've always enjoyed having that introductory kind of page and I've seen some people decorate them. And I'm like, why have I never done that? <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Why am I not decorating my, my name page at the beginning of the book? Just like all of the Suki journals, there is a pouch at the back, which I think has got a little freebie in. It's a kitty paper clip. I have some kitty paper clips already, but I'll never say no to another one. That's cute. I don't know if I'd ever use them, but you know, still adorable. The side of the page has got the lovely gold edging and it's also etched with flowers and a little kitty at the bottom. Of course, the 160 GSM pages inside, they are a very bright white. I actually think to my eye, maybe it's just the light in here, but it looks kind of blue. Maybe it's because of my shirt too, but like really bright white. Bright white is not my favorite. I used to love it, but times have changed and I got older and now I'm like, ah, my eyes. <laughs> 
two ribbon bookmarks inside, which is nice, and of course elastic closure on the back. I just love cat things, and when it's a cat item of stationery without being childish, chef's kiss. Just exactly what I wanted in my life. Thank you, Notebook Therapy, for making the thing I didn't know I needed. And the other thing is really exciting too. So this is a stamp set. I have been into stamps lately in a way that is new for me. And I have been kind of living a bit of a, a dark academia vibe, but gently, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. So this Vintage Rose bullet journal stamp set kind of sang to my soul a little bit. It's so pretty. And I really like the way they do their stamp packaging, trying to do this without them all tumbling out. Gravity, where it's like a little drawer. You know, there's a, a ribbon pull on the end and easy access. So we've got 13 stamps in here and they're a really nice variety of, some of them look like tickets or stamps. Some of them look like roses in various stages of opening. Roses on a vine, there's a little envelope and there's a cloche as well. Is that how you say it, cloche? So you could stamp that in tandem with the flowers and that would be really cute. Gorgeous stamps. They are wood with rubber mounted on the other side. And something I think is really nice, I've used them so I've messed it up a little bit but I did get a shot of this before I used them, is that on the underside of the box there's a little shadow of the design and that kind of helps you work out if you've tipped them all out where they're supposed to go back in the box. So that's very nice. And I tested them out in the back of the book as well so you can see what they all look like. My stamping skill I think needs some work and also like the flatness of the page and I used the last page in the book and there's like the pouch on the other side so it's probably not the flattest, I think stamping right in the middle of the book is easier because you've got a nice flat surface to work with, unless you've stuck a bunch of other stuff in your journal along the way, in which case you might not have a flat surface to work with. They're just really cute and now I want to use them on everything. The one with the hand mirror, I want that hand mirror in real life. I didn't mention anything about prices, did I? So I guess we'll do that now and we'll just talk about all the prices together. So for the notebook, this, as I mentioned, is the A5 version, which is $31.98 US dollars. You can also get it in the larger B5 size, $36.98, or in the original size, which is the smaller one, $28.98. The stamp set is obviously only one price because it's only one item. <laughs> that one's $32.98 US. So all up with free international shipping because that's the way that notebook therapy works. It would total $64.96 or if you use my discount code Erin, you can get 10% off and it will come down to $58.47. I do also think it's worth mentioning that they have recently added a page to the notebook therapy website regarding sustainability. I don't believe that this is something they addressed before this, but they're making steps to cut down waste and try and view their processes from the Earth's perspective, they say on the website. So they mention using recyclable box packaging, FCS certified washi tapes. I'm not sure what that means. I'm gonna to need to look into that. I believe they were always using faux leather for their leather Ujo covers. I don't believe that they were leather in the time that I have known about notebook therapy. They have some stencils available that are also recyclable, but the sticker backing sheets are something that they're still working on. So I thought that was worth mentioning that they're considering it and are acknowledging that they're not there yet, but are working on making things better for the planet while we still get to enjoy lovely stationary items. So good job, notebook therapy. I'm glad to see it. If you'd like to see what I've done with notebook therapy journals in the past, I have two flip through videos. I'll link to them in the description so you can see Everything I did last year in a bullet journal just about was in a notebook. Actually, yeah, all of it was in a notebook therapy bullet journal. So clearly I'm a fan. <laughs> That's it from me for this week. I hope you enjoyed looking at my lovely new little bits and pieces. I'm gonna get them out again because I just like looking, especially this journal. <laughs> Cats. I'll catch you again in another video next week. If you can't wait till then to hang out, then come find me on Instagram. I am at erinsmith.art and I'd love to hang out with you over there as well. I'm on stories a lot, so you can keep up with what I'm doing. Don't forget to hit subscribe if it's your first time here on my channel and you wanna see more from me. And until next week, I hope you have a wonderful week and um, get to touch a cat. <laughs>